Okay, what we're going to make today is gluten-free pie. Today we're going to make a cherry pie. One of the reasons why I came up with this recipe is because my wife has Hashimoto's disease and cannot eat flour. So this is the modification of a, a well-known recipe, but using gluten-free flour. First of all, we're going to start with three cups of all-purpose gluten-free flour. This is the uh, Walmart brand, great value. You can add to it one teaspoon of salt. Give that a bit of a mix. And then one cup of vegetable shortening. And then we want to chop this up into little teeny pieces so it's thoroughly mixed. And once the mixture is about the size of peas, that tells us we're pretty much done. So we want to cut the shortening and the flour together. Okay, next we want to add some soda pop. One cup, in this case I actually like ginger ale, or you can do a 7-Up or a Lemon Lime Sprite or something of that nature. And we're going to mix that up. And we want to get it into a nice shaped ball. Okay, we want to get it into a basic ball shape. Now this recipe will make two bottoms and two tops of a pie, the shell and the bottom. So we want to divide this into four pieces. Okay, now that we have the pastry, the next step is to roll it out. And with traditional gluten-free dough, this can be difficult to do. But this is what makes my pie special because I think I came up with a really great way of rolling out pie pastry. Okay, the next step is rolling out the dough. So we're gonna take a piece of plastic, plastic wrap, and some cooking spray. I'm going to lightly spray that, get some of your dough, 
just kind of push it into shape. Then we're going to take a second sheet of plastic wrap and spray that and we're going to put the second sheet on top of the first sheet and then we're going to roll it out. Just like that. You can take a pie pan and also going to spray that cooking spray. We're going to make a little bit of room here to work with. We're going to take off the top sheet and put this aside for the next one. And this is what takes a little bit of finesse is trying to get this right the first time. So we're going to line this up lip of the pastry or the lip of the pie and we're going to fold it right, mist it a little bit, fold it right in on top. And while the plastic is still in place I'm just going to kind of mold that up against the tin just like so and then we're going to take off that piece Okay, we're going to put that aside. Oh, not, we're not going to put that aside. Next step is we get our cherries. This can be cherry, it can be apple, anything you want. But I love cherry. And this is just Duck and Heinz. Okay, put all that in. We're going to put that aside and we're going to work on the top crust. So we're going to get our plastic sheet again. Kind of straighten that all out. Another light spray of cooking spray. And this is going to be our top. Just going to kind of work that into a basic shape. And then we're going to get the top sheet. Let me spray it. And this will come on top of the other. take the top off, put that aside, move this guy back and get ready to do the exact same thing. Just a quick over on top, take off the plastic and then go around and take off the excess. Come around and seal the top. And if we're short on some pastry, we'll just kind of put that in where needed. Now what I like now you can either bake it just like this 
but I like to have a little bit of sweetness. I'm going to lightly brush this with some milk. And then I'm going to take some sugar and sprinkle the top with sugar. So this makes a delicious topping. Okay, there you go. Cherry gluten-free pie. So we're going to throw this into an oven for 40 minutes at 400 degrees. And we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, we're going to bake our pie on a cookie sheet just in case we have any spillover. And we'll see what happens. Okay, here we have it. 40 minutes later, we got a cherry pie. It's been cooled. One of the things I did is the baking time is 40 minutes. 20 minutes into the 20 minutes into it. I rotate it 180 degrees. So let's see how this thing comes out. The first piece is always the hardest piece to get out. So if I could slice some flaky. Okay, well, there we have it. Gluten-free cherry pie. I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching.